If you're on the verge of snapping your controller in half or throwing your mouse into the wall trying to beat this annoying boss in Wolong Fallen Dynasty, you've come to the right place. Stick around and I'll show you how to easily defeat Zhang Rang in Wolong Fallen Dynasty. For this boss fight, and for the sake of your sanity, we're going to do something that we normally don't do in my videos. We're going to call on reinforcements. I recommend using an ally that you have a high oath level with. In this case, I went with Sun Zhan. As a part of the story, you already have Chow Chow with you as well. Absorb Vitality is going to be your main spell that you're going to use so that you and your reinforcements will gain HP every time you hit an enemy. The rest of the spells are up to you. My character is a fire build, so I use Flame Weapon and Amplify Damage. I also use enhanced defense to serve as a shield. The weapon that I found most effective in this fight is a dual sword. I'm currently using the Chivalrous Swordsman Dual Swords. The reason why I use the dual swords is because it has the Beckoning Pine Spirit Attack and it's going to be crucial for this fight. Let me just say this is just a recommendation, it's what I use. Moving into the fight there are several things that you need to consider. First is the health of your reinforcements. If you start to see their health get low, make sure to go near them and use the Absorb Vitality spell. Next, the Zhang Rang that does not have a health bar above their head is the real Zhang Rang. Knowing this, you're going to want to target the clones, but do not eliminate all of them. Leave at least one or two clones left. If you eliminate them all, then Zhang Rang will summon more. Okay, so the objective for the rest of the fight, and while it's going to seem like a little bit of a cheese, we're going to use that Beckoning Pine Spirit Attack with our Dual Swords for the rest of the fight. Beckoning Pine has a dodge feature with it, and you can use it in rapid succession. So as you see right here, I just get into a pattern of spamming it till I break down his Spirit Bar and then hit him with a critical attack, wait for him to recover and start spamming it. As you can see here, if you get into a good rhythm, you can stun lock Zhang Rang to the point where he can't even cast, and you can just start building spirit damage. The attack allows you to dodge most of his attacks, and you can just keep doing it in consecutive order. As you can see here, I got him trapped in a corner. If you can do this, that is perfect. From here, we just take advantage of how many times we can just keep him in a stun lock. More than likely, you'll get a hit by an attack from a clone, or he'll teleport away. As you can see right there, I just took advantage of using Absorb Vitality so that my reinforcements can get some HP recover while they fight the clone. You're going to want to keep the real Zhang Rang isolated. If you see him charge that lightning attack, make sure to roll back because it's an area of an effect attack, and if you're too close, you'll take damage. You can also block it, but it's really hard to block. As always, make sure you punish that spirit meter and as it gets to the bottom, you hit him with that critical attack. And then he's recovering and we just keep piling damage. At this point, I'm just letting out some frustration and some pent up aggression after having fought this guy so many times and dying to those stupid clones. Right here you can see he charges up for a perilous attack but he can't get it off. And now we're back on the hunt. We're gonna keep using the beckoning pine over and over again and it just keeps him in that stun lock spamming it, looking at his spirit bar, punishing, boom, we're done. Like I said, it's a bit of a cheese. You don't have to use the Beckoning Pine. However, I recommend it. If you don't use it, just make sure you're healing your reinforcements while you isolate Zhang Rang. And if you need help with any other Wolong bosses in the future, make sure to stop back by at the channel. I've been RivTech. Thanks for watching.